sometimes there are things that words cannot convey. For me, when I drum, there is a sense of peace, there is a sense of joy, and there is a sense of me being connected to the world and myself. And I find that that is the most important element for me. My taiko journey is really interesting because I was born and, and raised in Hong Kong back in the 60s. And I really had this urge that I wanted to learn how to play drum. So one day I asked my mom if I could learn how to play drums and she said no. Uh, and, and that was because back in those days, you know, girls wouldn't do things like that. Only boys would drum. And so my dream kind of just went <laughs> buried. And it wasn't until my family and I moved to Canada in 74. Then later on, I think it was about 1989, I was introduced to taiko drumming, traditional Japanese drumming. I didn't even know what it was about. I just went, you know, without any idea. I just fell in love with it. So that was that passion that just got brought out. And so I've been drumming ever since. In general, because the drum represents heartbeat, and so it connects, it's a connector and, and conduit. So in many cultures, including the First Nations and um, others, they use the drums to connect with their ancestors, to the spirits, to the land. I find that when I drum, I don't really think about anything for myself. I just kind of have that really deep connection that nothing matters, <laughs> you know, it's only me between me and my drum.